Well, I have just watched the first 30 minutes of this Bart Sibrell appearance on Joe Rogan. And I have to react to it because this is another liar and a scammer, okay, that I fell for about 10 years ago. I was duped. Full disclosure. He's a guy who's made a career, a living out of grifting the moon hoax. Whatever you might think about that, okay. Even if you're a moon landing denier, you're a full-fledged moon hoaxer, this isn't your guy, okay? This is not your guy. He's a liar and a scammer, and he did that documentary. A funny thing happened on the way to the moon, and his smoking gun evidence in that documentary is that halfway on the way to the moon in the Apollo 11 spacecraft, they were filming the moon from a distance with a TV camera, and he claims, no, they were faking that. They were actually in low Earth orbit and doing like this trickery with the window to make it look like the Earth was at a distance. But it's a lie. It's bullshit. And it's been debunked. <sighs> I, 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 I hate scammers, dude. And the side-by-side -side comparison is for... Well, the, on the left, Neil Armstrong claims this is 130,000 miles out. He claims that the camera lens is at the glass. Mm -hmm. And that's the Earth floating in space. What's okay. on the right-hand side are the outtakes that we got an unedited reel of the special effects shot by accident. And he's still pushing this today on Joe Rogan, this thing that's been debunked. It's been debunked by a number of people. He knows this, we know this, but he's still out there pushing it and grifting it. By the way, the amount of times he pushes his website... I mean, come on. Anyway, look, let's listen to this guy. Uh, do the debunk, okay? Though the federal government would have you believe that this is a view of Earth from a distance out of the spacecraft's window as it nears the moon, it is not. What they have ingeniously done is placed the camera at the back of the spacecraft and centered the lens on a circular window in the foreground, outside of which it is completely filled with the Earth in low orbit. So he's saying that Apollo 11 wasn't really 100,000 miles away viewing the entire Earth from a distance, but was instead orbiting only a few hundred miles away and that, that at that distance the Earth would fill the window. So to make the Earth look the correct size for the broadcast, they put an insert over the window with a circular cutout so that they could only see part of the Earth through it. Now, as I alluded to in my other video, that idea does not match what we see in the broadcast. In low Earth orbit, they'd be completing one full orbit about every 90 minutes, and the Apollo 11 broadcast was viewing the Earth through the window constantly for over 10 minutes. The craft should have covered a ground distance of about 1,500 miles. The Earth that we see in the broadcast doesn't change. We can see exactly what this would look like thanks to the Apollo 9 EVA involving Russell Swigart recording from outside the lunar module whilst looking at Dave Scott who was standing in the command module hatchway. The command module hatch is pushed open so through its circular window we are seeing a prolonged view of Earth in low Earth orbit and the clouds are whizzing by within just a few seconds. Nothing like what we see in Apollo 11, which keeps the same visible clouds for over 10 minutes. Not only that, but when they return to viewing the window at the end of the broadcast, which was about 30 minutes after it started, in that time, the clouds of Earth still haven't drastically changed. Although, they have changed a little bit, which debunks the idea that it's just a static image of Earth. Now, that alone dispels the whole idea that we're viewing the Earth through a cutout, and if we were looking through a cutout, then our view of Earth would shift as the camera moves around due to parallax. Just like how if you were to look out of a window from across a room and then you move yourself around, the view that you see through the window changes. But instead we only ever see one constant look of Earth, even when we can clearly see the camera is moving. Another major problem with Bart's claim though is the perspective that we see, or rather that we don't see. In the footage, officially at least, the broadcast starts with them having the camera near to the command module window zoomed in on Earth. We then see them zoom out, which makes the Earth get smaller, 
and then they back the camera away across the to the other side of the craft so that they could get a view of the interior and this is where we see the cabin light come into view bart's version of events though is that they were never near the window to begin with the window has a cover over it with a circular cutout the camera is already on the opposite side of the craft but is zoomed in onto the cutout to make the earth look big and then they zoom the camera out which is where the cabin light comes into view however if that were the case and the camera was already on the opposite side of the craft to begin with then the reason the cabin light comes into view would be because they are zooming the lens out which means that the earth should be getting smaller in the window at the same time because in reality the earth is getting smaller because the lens is zooming out but they've zoomed the lens out before the cabin light comes into view the only reason the cabin light comes into view is because they've backed the camera away which means the camera must have been closer to the window at some point However, people seem to be being drawn in by Bart's claims that we supposedly see them remove the cutout. Anyway, look, this should be enough. If that's not enough for you to realise you're being duped by this guy, I don't know what is. There's lots more, much more, though. Uh, that's a much longer uh, piece here. He goes through the whole thing. But he's literally claiming... That the farce that they're trying to pull on you is to have a cutout on the spacecraft window and pretend that the Earth is far away whilst they're in low Earth orbit and, and the Earth is massive below them. <sighs> it's utterly ridiculous. Here's another one. I'll put links to these in the description. A funny thing happened on the way to the moon debunked the box set where he goes through literally all the claims in this stupid documentary. If we jump back two hours and 20 minutes, the crew shot some unscheduled TV footage that Mr. Zabral has neglected to show us. Let's take a look. Here we see our familiar shot of the Earth. Oops, what's this? An astronaut's arm, maybe? Nope, it's the frame of window one again. And as the camera zooms out, we see the Earth and window frame and the interior of the spacecraft. Now the spacecraft rolls and the Earth goes out of view. I will speed this section up a little in the interest of brevity. I will pause this in the interest of copyright due to that song. <laughs> and soon we see the Earth reappear, this time through a rendezvous window, showing that all of Sabrell's assertions about low Earth orbit, spacecraft windows and inserted pieces of material are figments of his imagination. Okay, it's time to wrap this up. Conclusions in part 10. Part 10. Okay, so look, that should be enough for you to realise that this guy is a scammer, a shyster, a merchant of the moon hoax. Whatever you might think about that, there is a great deal of evidence to say, even if you think that some shenanigans went on uh, when the spacecraft got to the moon, that spacecraft were sent to the moon with people on board them and that there was lots of footage and that filmed on the way. Even if you're somebody who says that they never went down to the moon. Even if you are a fully-fledged moon hoax believer, you don't believe that anybody walked on the face of the moon, there's a great deal of evidence that spacecraft were launched with people on board, huge amounts of footage, and that those spacecraft, at the very least, went to the moon and came back. We could argue about what happened when they got to the moon, if you're so inclined. But even Bart Sabrell doesn't deny that, that like, the astronauts were on board the spacecraft 
and all all the footage of this uh, of them was filmed by those people in in on board the spacecraft anyway i just can't bear scammers dude i just can't bear them <laughs>